What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. So I've gotten this question over the past couple of months and I've always wanted to answer it. And I think today is finally gonna be the day. What is my daily routine? As an investor, your routine does um, have some quirks in it or sometimes things don't go as planned, but I'll tell you guys exactly what I do every day, how I do it, and how I break down my whole business. That way you guys can get an idea of how you might wanna model your own business or make some changes to what I'm doing and make it even better. So the first thing that I do is every single day, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday, every single day, even if it's a holiday week, I still will wake up at five o'clock in the morning. When I get up at five o'clock, usually I'll have some water, hydrate myself a little bit, maybe get a coffee out of the refrigerator. Usually uh, my favorite is one of these right here. Definitely a great tasting coffee. They're a little expensive, I think for like four of them is like 10 bucks, but it sure beats having to go down to Starbucks or cranking out the coffee maker, which I think I broke mine making coffee. Plus making coffee at five o'clock in the morning is super noisy. I don't want to wake up my kids and I definitely don't want to wake up my wife. So I chose to go with these coffees. One of my favorites, if you like Cuban coffee or if you like really hardcore espresso, definitely a great coffee because I love coffee. So once I'm up, I'm usually heading to my computer and I'll start editing a YouTube video for the day. I'll edit a YouTube video, upload an Instagram video of one of my previous YouTube videos and just get some of my social media stuff out of the way including reading on Facebook in the real estate Facebook groups, seeing if any deals pop up. After that, around seven o'clock, usually I'm done with, with all my social media stuff and done with my YouTube and Instagram. I'm usually spending some quality time with my wife in the morning. My wife is very important to me and I love my family very much. So I try to spend as much quality time as I can especially throughout the day since I'm here. I do wanna also spend some time with her while I can. So usually between seven and eight o'clock is that's what I'm doing. So by eight o'clock, I'm already back at my computer. And what I'm doing is I'm looking over the marketing for the day. At the beginning of this month, I decided to start using a product called Asana. It's spelled A-S-A-N-A. -A -A, and it has been a really big game changer for me. Now I'm not getting paid to promote them whatsoever, but I've heard of Asana and I actually downloaded the app a few years back, but I didn't really have a good need for it. And now that I have a lot of marketing that I'm doing and we're trying to organize the marketing, Asana has definitely helped because you can break all your marketing down into projects. So what I do is every list is a project for me and I gotta find out what type of marketing does that list need to get. And it's been challenging sometimes, but uh, I think with Asana now, it has definitely put me on the right track. So by eight o'clock, I'm already putting together my text messages, ringless voicemails, or whatever it else that I have to send out for the day. Usually I'm scheduling everything out on Monday, but during the week I will still have to go back to Asana and check and see, hey, I need to actually send a text messaging to this list or this list or that list and make sure that all my marketing is up to date and correct. Then by nine o'clock, I'm already done with all of that and all the text messages start going out. So I send out my text messages in not batches, but from nine to one o'clock is when all my text messaging goes out. And during that time, usually it sends out about 20 text messages per telephone number per hour. That way it's a little bit easier to manage because when you send out, let's say you send out a blast of like seven, 800 text messages within 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna get at least hundred responses back. And with a hundred responses, that's a lot of people that you're gonna be constantly messaging back and forth and the system gets overwhelmed, I get overwhelmed and it's too much to deal with in such a short amount of time. So what I usually do is I send them out in the morning in small batches, 20 text messages per phone number per hour. And what it'll do is it'll send all the text messages up until all of them are either sent or all the phone numbers are maxed, which if you wanna stay text compliant, usually you can only send about 100 text messages per hour per phone line. So if you have seven phone lines, you can only send out 700 uh, text messages. When you go over that, you start to get marked as spam and your text messages don't reach the right people and it just doesn't work out. So we try to stay compliant, stay within that, you know, 700 text messages per day limit. Um, if we need more, I'll just buy more phone numbers. They're only a dollar. Usually that whole text messaging campaign will last about an hour or two of getting those initial replies and then I'll get more replies later on. So by 11 o'clock is when all the ringless voicemails start going out. My ringless voicemails go out 
in batches as well from 11 to 1 p.m. And during that time, I'm either calling them back, my partner's calling them back, my cold caller's calling them back, and you know, dealing with the text messaging as well in that time frame. Usually by two o'clock, I'm already done with all of those major marketing pieces. And I'll take a break for a little while, have some lunch, spend some more time with my wife, spend some time with my kids since they're here at home at this moment in time because of COVID. And I will get dinner started. Now I cook dinner for my family um, because I kind of want to give my wife a break. She cooks me breakfast and lunch. So making her cook three meals a day, I feel like that's not fair to her. She doesn't have any type of downtime whatsoever. So I cook dinner and I, I love cooking dinner to be honest. So I'll cook dinner, spend some time with my family and then five o'clock I'm back on my computer waiting for phone calls to come in. And this is the reason why. So around five o'clock we start getting people calling back from the RVMs and also my cold caller starts his cold calling campaign at 5 p.m. up until 7.30. So in that time frame, you get a lot of people that are calling back, wondering who you are, why'd you call them, or maybe they already know that the reason why you call and they're interested in selling their property. So we stick with that for a little while and wait for people to call back and answer any questions that they may have and try to pick up some deals. Usually by seven o'clock, I'm done with answering the phone and I will start my nightly routine, which is basically take a shower, spend some more time with my family, my wife, and I go to bed early. Uh, usually I'm in bed by nine and asleep by 9 30, 10 o'clock. Especially if you're trying to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, it'd be a good idea to go to bed early as well. And that's pretty much it. That is literally my schedule Monday through Friday. Now I do have interruptions during my schedule. It's not like I plan for these, but you know, sometimes we got to go on appointment. So I'm not home between 12 and one o'clock or maybe in the morning as well. So sometimes text messages won't go out or if they do go out, I, I'm, I pause the campaigns because I'm not here to answer them because I don't like sending marketing out if nobody's gonna be answering them back because it's usually a waste of marketing. And so far this schedule has been successful for me. I have enjoyed a lot of free time. I know that I could probably be doing a little bit more, but I wanna be able to block myself from doing too much because then you get overly stressed. You you start to really age faster, that's number one. And your stress levels go through the roof. So your health is really important in anything. There are so many businessmen who have made millions and millions and millions of dollars and they die before they even get to enjoy any of it. So for me, I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't wanna be like that guy. You know, I don't wanna make a million dollars and stress myself from here to wherever. And then all of a sudden I die from all the stress, but I accomplished my goal. Uh, my goal is to live as long as possible and I wanna try to make as much money as possible at the same time, but I also wanna be able to enjoy myself now, even though I am building generational wealth for my family and my children and possibly their children. At the same time, I wanna be able to enjoy myself with my family because time is not promised to any of us. There are only two things that are certain in life and that's death and taxes. So I definitely want to spend as much time with my family as possible. That way I can, you know, look back and be like, wow, I had so much fun with my kids, so much fun with my wife, so many beautiful memories that we've already made. And I can't wait to look forward on the rest of our life. And even now I work a lot. Don't get me wrong. I work really hard. That schedule may seem like I don't work much, but I'm telling you some days, it goes longer, some days it goes shorter. It just really depends on the day. And you just kind of gotta take things day by day sometimes. Even on the days where I just feel like, man, you know what, I don't wanna do anything. I still get up and that, you know, that little voice behind my head says, hey, you gotta pay the bills. You gotta put food on the table. There's no, I'm gonna call in sick. There ain't no sick days here, ever, okay? I don't, I don't think I, even when I am sick, I'm still in front of the phone, I'm still in front of the computer, I'm still marketing, or I'll have my laptop laying in bed eating some chicken noodle soup because I don't give up, I'm relentless. And I'm not gonna give up, I mean, even, even when I do make enough money to where I can possibly partially retire, I'm still gonna do stuff because making money is fun. This business is fun, business is fun in general, I, I enjoy running a business. I enjoy running multiple businesses. I enjoy the fact that I'm going to create other businesses. But of course, this life isn't meant for everybody. Even if you're not interested in running businesses, even if you're not interested in real estate, 
you can still make good money part-time or working less. You're the one that has the goals. You're the one who determines what your success is. And I use success loosely because success is not tied to a dollar amount because financial freedom for some is very different for others. Like financial freedom for me is making more than 100,000 a year. That's financial freedom. But some people, financial freedom for them is making $50,000 a year and that budget supports them throughout the whole year, maybe even longer, and helps them lead a stress-free life. And I think that's more important. The money aspect, man, money comes and goes. You make money, lose money, uh, triple money, you know, going to debt, whatever it may be. Stress is the major thing that you wanna get off your back. And if your stress is tied to a dollar amount, you need to reevaluate and try to um, figure out a way how to get yourself out of it, out of whatever it is that's stressing you out, whether it's a relationship, a job, friendship, whatever it may be, get rid of it or figure out how to fix it. Because I think stress is the most important thing that you really got to look at. And I'm not going to stress myself out over money. And I am sure not going to stress myself out about making money. Yes, you know, there's stresses in our daily lives that we cannot um, actively avoid, but I'm going to try to do my best to avoid any type of stress in my life. That's why I lead the life that I live. I'm happy. I like the things that I do. And while I'm gonna continue to 10X my business and 10X my life, I'm still gonna try to stay as stress-free as possible. So thank you guys for watching. I know that this was not very much geared towards wholesaling and, and what my daily activities are for wholesaling in general, but I figured you guys would get a really good picture of what I do on a daily basis and ways that you could implement some of the things that I do into your own business business or your own daily life and maybe help you get to the next level of whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I appreciate all of you watching. Hope everybody has a great day and I will catch you guys on another vlog.